So I want you to kind of think about how you would apply this in your own life. And also, how would you teach others in your life to apply it? Who else needs to know these kinds of things? So first, think about what is your biggest challenge. And this would be a situation that you approach with a sense of fear and dread. You execute with anxiety and you're distracted. You're thinking not about what's actually happening, but what you fear might be happening and what you should have said two minutes ago and what might happen after this because of what you didn't say two minutes ago. Right? So that's what happens when you're in that moment. And then you leave it with a sense of regret. So you're not present at any stage in this process. Right? You're, not, you're already borrowing trouble from the future before you've even gotten to the doorstep. You know, and then at the end, you want a do-over. You want to go back in and say, um, actually, I didn't get to show you who I am. And, and when I heard from so many people after the TED Talk, and really from any, like, any demographic that I heard from, and there was no demographic pattern to this, what I hear people talking about is not um, whether they got a job or not. It's how they felt when they left those challenges. It's, did they feel the sense of regret, like, ah, oh, if only I'd shown them who I am? Or do they leave feeling like, you know what, I did everything I could do and I can accept the outcome? And I realized that even though I started this work and, and this book to some extent focusing on outcomes, you know, how do you get the best outcome, I was thinking of outcomes like getting the job or getting the, the, you know, the, the, the money from the investor. I wasn't thinking about outcomes like, going through life with a sense of peace that you're doing everything that you can do. And you can accept the outcomes that you can't entirely control. And now I see that as much more important. The people who I hear from who I think have the greatest sense of peace are not the people who win every time because no one wins every time. They're the people who leave knowing that they brought themselves and they were able to be there and engage and listen and be present. Um.